hello and welcome to this video my name is isaac Adebi, and in this video i'll be explaining to you how to work with different design sizes on pixel lab how to work with different design sizes on pixel lab all right so if you get a message like this from a client where the person is telling you uh, i want to create a banner for my business i want to create a poster or whatsoever and then they're giving you sizes that are not in um pixel how do you work with it so let's use this thing for a, for an example so someone sent me a message um i want to a very big banner for my food brand the size should be five inches by seven inches so i don't know if that's big i don't know if that's small this was a sample so five inches by seven inches how do we go about that so before i go into explaining that let me first of all say this that pixel lab measures in pixel so if you use pixel lab for your design you should know that the size of your pixel lab is in pixel so if you are seeing a size like 1080 by 1080 that means that is 1080 pixel by 1080 pixel so it doesn't measure in inches it doesn't measure in meters or in feet so whenever you get a size in inches what do you have to you have to convert it from inches you have to convert it to pixel so that's the only way to do it you convert from inches to pixel if you don't convert it if you use this size like this you just import five and seven in your design it's not going to give you the right size so you have to convert it from inches convert it to pixel this also apply for if you use if, if the design also is in feet or if the design also is in um meters meters what do you have to do you convert every single one of them to pixel so let's go into that so let's say we are going to be using um five inches to seven inches i mean five inches by seven inches so we have to convert five inches to pixel also convert seven inches to pixel after converting then we now go into our application to um put it inside our pixel application so let me go right into my chrome my chrome browser all right so i just come into my chrome and the next thing i can just type here is i'll just type in inches to pixel because that's what we're talking about inches to pixels so let's say we're like feet before what are we going to type we just type in feet to pixel right feet to pixel but since we want to be using inches we just type in inches to pixels like this and we'll just search it out so we just search that out all right so after searching it out you can see it has brought it out already it's very easy for me to just to just use it from here i can just click on seven more rules seven more rows and you can see i have my sizes here already okay it has even brought me to the website so this is the website to be using um unitconverters.net as you can see unitconverters.net so what do i do very simple i'll just come here and type in um inches you can see inch i just type in the five all right so you can see five so the size for five is 480 so i can just write that down somewhere or i can as well just copy it but it's it's um, more important it will make more sense if you write it down so you just write it down somewhere so five that's 480 and then we just type in seven so seven is six four two, seven so two. four eight so instead of five by seven inches so when we converted it we now have 480 by seven i mean by six seven two so after doing this we now go into our calculator all right so i'm in my calculator application now now the reason we're using the calculator application is because you know the size is giving us 480 by 672 and that's a very small size so if we if we put this into our design our design is not going to come out nice because it's a very small size and one thing about your pixel lab application is that the smaller the size the less quality the design will be if you use a size that like 5000 by 7000 for the design it's going to come out sharper than when you use a size like 1000 by 2000 so that's basically it but if, if, it's, if it's going to be an online design like an e-flyer or an e-design anything that's going to just use in the like not 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 to be printed you can use any size you like but if it's to be printed you want to use a size that is going to make the design make the the, the design that you actually create come out very very quality because if you are designing your smartphone you want to make sure it is of a very high quality so that when it is now um printed out and it's on a very big banner it can still come out very very sharp so what are we going to do now we're going to be multiplying each of this thing that we get multiplying them by 10 so we said 480 by 672 so what do we do we say 480 times 10 so that's going to give us 4800 and then the next one is going to be what? c72 times 
10 and that's going to give us 6720 so now we've gotten the size this is the size we're now going to import into our into our application it is not the small size that we got we're going to import so so let's say we got something like 1250 for uh, this thing now we can multiply this by 10 because we must multiply by 10 is giving us 12,000 and we should understand one thing about pixel lab if your size is more than 9000 it's it will not save your design because it's going to be too big that's going to make the design very very like is the size is going to be too big and your pixel app can even crash because the size is too big so you want to make sure your your, your designs are i mean your size are actually lower than 6000 so let's say we have once to leak this kind of thing you can multiply by four okay, you can multiply by nine you must apply by seven okay this is still much better eight thousand or you can multiply by six do you understand seven five it's still much better so what do we do now let's now go into our pixel lab to finalize this design all right so we're on our pixel lab now and we just go and add in the size we just got so let's just type that in four eight zero zero times six thousand seven twenty and then we have the size already so this is the size we're going to be using on this design so when you have let's say you now create your design and you are true with every single thing and you want to save your design you can just come here save as project and what do you do you just you can decide to change this to png yeah you can start to change to png and you just come here and save to gallery so you're not going to you're not going to come here and do and press anything here no no you just leave it this way and just save to gallery so you, you can see it is saved already okay it's still loading and one thing you should know is when you design this kind of big sizes you see i didn't design anything and it's taking much time imagine when i now design on it so when you design on it to take a long a longer period because of this it's going to be very very big so that's all this is just simple way to actually change sizes and use on your pixel up do you get me so if it's not in pinch if it's not in inches if it's in feet or meters or in centimeters it's still the same process so i hope you understand so thank you very much for watching this video and have an amazing time. See you next Friday.